Good morning, CCA. This week has been all about celebrating our amazing CCA faculty, and this weekend we get to pamper our mothers. Pressure's on. I know. I'm Monica. And I'm John. And, and this, this is, is CCA, CCA TV. TV. This week, Mr. Mueller announced he'll be leaving CCA to pursue the job of superintendent in the Coronado Unified School District. We spoke to him earlier this week about his decision. Take a look. Um, the decision to leave Canyon Crest Academy and assume a new role and new responsibilities as superintendent of Coronado Un Unified School District was a difficult one. Um, the past three years have been so rewarding for me uh, to get to know this special community, to work with this amazing faculty, and, and to connect with students that have been such an inspiration. Uh, this truly is an amazing school. The culture that you have created and continue to cultivate and nurture here is, is unique uh, and, and something that I have never experienced before. Um, so I'm going to miss my friends. I, I hope to stay in touch and uh, will continue watching you all reach the highest achievements and soar above San Diego County as the amazing group of students and staff that you are. And I'm going to really take the next few weeks to enjoy uh, just being a Raven and, um, and saying goodbye to, to my family here and to the friends that I've, I've made and the connections that I've established. Mr. Mueller is truly beloved by the entire CCA community and it will be very hard to say goodbye. But this week was all about celebrating our incredible CCA faculty. Check out the spotlight on our Staff Appreciation Week. I really appreciate Miss Kiss because she lets us do fun things like come outside and read. Uh, she makes the class fun. I appreciate Profe Sanchez because she's fun and makes learning Spanish really interesting. Nate is a great teacher. He's so musically talented. He's always really engaged with his students, always running around the building helping us. As we celebrate Staff Appreciation Week, I just wanted to take a moment to say thank you for everything that you do uh, for the students here at Canyon Crest Academy. Um, you model creativity, you model curiosity, and you create a safe and supportive learning environment where every individual feels honored, valued, and respected. Thanks for all that you do. We have an awesome physical education staff at CCA. That's probably why Dylan and Danny are such great athletes. I think they're more sports fans than athletes. Okay, you know what? I'm in weight training and I can do this. Ugh. Thanks, Mr. Reese. That's 14 pounds. Happy Friday, CCA. As we film right now, it's Dylan's birthday and I forced him to be here. Uh, wrong. It was actually my mom who forced me to be here. Anyway, this is sports. You know, Dylan, we filmed our first episode of Sports on my birthday. Oh, did we? Yeah, I just didn't bring it up because I don't have an ego. Well, if I recall correctly, you're the one who brought it up. In sports news, both boys and girls swim and dive beat Westview. Girls across also picked up a dominant 14-4 victory over Mission Hills. Unfortunately, boys golf fell to Cathedral. However, one of our golfers, Matthew Seamer, was recently named one of the Union Tribute's Athletes of the Week. Check it out. The season's been going pretty good. Earlier this year, I shot a 32 through 9. 4 under and uh, was Athlete of the Week. It was really cool to get the recognition for Athlete of the Week. I'm in contact with some colleges and stuff like that for college golf. I'm excited for this year to come to an end at CAF. Hopefully I play well and uh, have two more years on the team. Boys Volleyball took Torrey Pines to five sets but came up short in the end. However, Boys Baseball blew out Poway 8-1. You know, Dylan, I almost forgot to give you your birthday present. Well, let's see it then. Here it is. Take this. Make a wish and throw it. All right. Oh. 
I wonder where that went. It's probably fine. Anyway, that's it for sports this week. Don't forget to come out to the boys lacrosse senior game today after school. Stay sporty, CCA. So Foosball Club is a group of about 36 uh, students and teachers that get together pretty much every day at lunch in order to play foosball and hang out in Mr. Shikari's room. We just won out here, okay, against the most celebrated team. I think we're the best right now. We're the dominating team, you know. All the other teams out there, we're coming for you. We filmed in the garden a lot this year. But this time we actually have a reason to. Because I have a pitchfork. And we're also going to teach you how to flex your green thumb. Okay, let me show you around the garden. So, um, right here we have some tomatoes and bell peppers that we're pretty excited about, some different varieties. So this is just a tomato pack, cherry tomatoes, Roma tomatoes, and other types, so I really like tomatoes, I don't know. This is our garden where we're sprouting everything, so it's pretty exciting. This is where a lot of our new up-and-coming plants are. So here we have a lot of bell peppers and some melon in there, more tomatoes, so yeah, more varieties of tomatoes, more tomatoes, um, some parsley that has flowered. Um, we're planting a lot of stuff in here, so that's exciting. The rest of these bins will be filled, which is cool. So um, after school, if you guys want to help us plant, it's 3.30 to 4.30 on Thursdays and sometimes Mondays and Tuesdays. Well, now that our staff feels appreciated, we can sign off. I feel like there was something else we were supposed to celebrate. Mm, no. Nah. Oh, there's my mom. Hi, Mom Pat. <laughs> we, we forgot, forgot Mother's, Mother's Day. Day. Mother's Day is a day where we appreciate our mothers. For Mother's Day, I'm going to have a nice family dinner. I'll probably get my mom some flowers and a card. Favorite Mother's Day memory. Uh, I was probably just going to the beach with my family and doing like little picnics. Last year when we went to Swami's and picnic on the beach. My favorite uh, thing that my mother does for me is she drives me to all my rehearsals. She pays rent on the house. That's nice, I have a place to live. She does my laundry. It's always a good time with Joe Lynn. She always cooks dinner and um, just like every meal and she's the best cook and so I just love her food. I can't wait to see what Johnny and Annika have for us for Mother's Day. Well, it better be good because it's our last one at home. Hmm, hope it's something special. Stay, Stay motherly, motherly, CCA. CCA. Um, this senior match because it's gonna be a good time. Why did you audition for the team? The babes. And it's gonna be a good time, that means I'll be there. And if I'm there, that means a senior match is happening. It's your last chance to see people that you've grown up with do terrifying, terrifying things. Wow. Babe over there, babe over there, babe, babe, babe. It'll be super good, it'll be super fun. You should come, it's great.